Step one is click on the electron source. We'll click on this two electron arrow. Be sure you click on the two electron arrow. And start on where the electrons come from. In this case, our base is going to be the lone pair on the oxygen of water. So we hover over that atom and make sure we have that blue circle to designate that as the particular atom's lone pair that we're going to start our electron flow from. Step two, start moving this cursor towards the proton that it's going to pick up. In this particular case, we're picking up one of those hydrogens coming off of the positive nitrogen. And as you move closer and closer to one of those protons, you'll notice a point maybe about 80% of the way to that particular atom where you see a dashed line between those two atoms. That dashed line indicates that a new single bond is going to be formed, based on your arrow, between those two atoms. Notice, do not take it all the way over to that particular atom. You want to make sure that you have that dashed line indicating to Ace Organic that you're creating a new bond. Step three, after you've checked to make sure that the two blue parentheses are around the atoms that you actually want, release the mouse. Step four, be sure you check each arrow before submitting. For example, we're creating this new bond between oxygen and hydrogen, and by hovering our mouse over that, we see a blue rectangle indicating where this new bond is going to be formed. Step five, you want to draw the next arrow for this particular proton transfer reaction. In this case, if we were to end our reaction, right here, we would have too many electrons around that hydrogen. We would have four when the maximum hydrogen can have is two. So we need to move two electrons away from that hydrogen in order to satisfy hydrogen's duet rule. So the electrons we're going to move are the two electrons of that nitrogen-hydrogen bond. So to make sure you're actually moving the electrons of that bond, hover your mouse over the bond and make sure you see those two blue parentheses around the nitrogen and hydrogen to make sure those are the electrons you're going to be moving. Step six, start this arrow with the tail right there and then ending those electrons to that electron sink. That N plus is going to be receiving these electrons so you want to make sure you draw your arrow ending on that nitrogen and you'll be able to tell that with that blue circle around nitrogen. Step seven is to complete the structures in the other side of the box. Using the double click copy paste method, click the select button, double click any atom within the structure, you just go to copy, paste, and paste that structure into the box. Repeat the process with water, and now correct your Lewis structures. This time we're going to take a look at the ACE mechanism calculator. This has been students' favorites in the past. And within this window, you can draw a particular mechanism if you would like to, and use ACE to calculate what it interprets your arrows to be. So what I'm going to do is put in this exact mechanism that we worked in the previous webcast, and take a look to see what the ACE mechanism calculator predicted based off of what we've drawn. So all you do is you draw this in here with the arrows, go to view products at the bottom and ACE processes it right here and when you calculate it for you it puts right at the top of the screen it puts the overall equation and then also inputs the products of those arrows right here within the Marvin window for you to copy over to any other ACE window you may have open. One thing the mechanism calculator does give you that looks a little bit wonky is these kind of long bonds here between hydrogen and oxygen and we don't really like seeing a lot of those and sometimes ACE might not like them either. So in order to clean these up just go to edit, clean in 2D and voila we've created nice looking structures that we can easily export to another ACE window by just clicking the copy button going to another ACE window and then pasting.